Evening, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Dumb Out TV. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for brand new content. This your boy, Gold Mouth Shorty. Let me get straight down to business. Today, man, we finna talk about Young Dolph, man. So y'all hit them cash apps, man. Mag promo. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do. Send your boy at least $5 or donate $10 to the channel. Anything extra, you know what I'm saying? That would be highly uh, appreciated. So let me get straight down to business, man. We got all day today, man. So we're going to put up some young doll footage today. We're going to put up some new uh, headlines and some this new investigation I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Everything allegedly. So let's just get straight down to business and stop and just stop cutting to the chase. Well, uh, Shondell Barnett, he done uh, got out the uh, county jail in Indiana, and, you know, a warrant was issued for his arrest by the Shelby County Police. You know what I'm saying? They finna try to bring him back to Memphis now because they saying that he's accessory in the murder after the fact. But on this new... Uh, a war arrest warrant. It says that he's being charged with murder, theft, and a whole bunch of other cases. You know what I'm saying? So, Shondell Barnett, he's on the lam. He's running. Some people say he might be in Mexico by now because he was from Texas. You know, uh, Houston. So he probably done uh got to the borderline of uh. Texas and then went off into Mexico, man, and how not because, you know what I'm saying, he don't want to face the charges. It's long live young Dolph. Uh, they say that this dude allegedly might was cooperating with the cops and they let him free because, you know, when all this media was on uh, Justin Johnson and uh, this dude, Kanye Smith, they slipped him out. He been out. You know what I'm saying? That dude been out ever since around like January 9th. But don't quote me on it. But just, you know what I'm saying? He been out for quite a while. For quite a while. And he had enough time to run. And you know what I'm saying? They say he had a lead monitor on. So he must have cut it off. You know what I'm saying? And he scat it. You know what I'm saying? But the FBI, the feds, they looking for him. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't know when they catch him, they're going to use him as a a, a witness. They want him to uh, show up in court to uh, testify against Justin Johnson, um, who may be set for trial, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, they're going to use this dude, Shondell, to uh, come point Justin Johnson and Cornelius Smith out, you feel me? So they just want to find out where he at, and put him in jail for the theft and other check cases. But really, he not the one they want. They know he wasn't even in town. So the murder cases and stuff, attempted murder, that's not going to stick. Only thing they got on uh, Shondell Barnett was when they caught straight drop in Indiana at the uh, truck stop sleep in the car. The dude was in the Paris in the sea. So Indiana picked him up and charged him with the murder. But, you know, Indiana didn't really want him. He didn't have nothing but a little weed or something on him. You know what I'm saying? So they didn't, they couldn't keep him. So they had to release him anyways. You know what I'm saying? Because basically when they got him in there, they were seeing if somebody else had any charges on him. But he was clear because they already had Justin Johnson and Kennedy Smith. Because, you know, normally... When, you know, you got a hold on you, they'd be like, hey, man, they got 30 days to come get you. Or if they don't come get you in 30 days, you get out. That's what, you know, the police will tell you, the police guard, after he go look it up in the computer. So, you know, them boys got picked up early. After three, four days, Memphis, Shelby County came up to Indiana. They drove up there and picked him up and brought him back. To Memphis, the whole uh, whole trial there, you know what I'm saying. So this dude, they didn't have nothing on uh, Shondell up there in Indiana, except a little weed, and you know what I'm saying. You do a couple nights in the county, that's time served. So they let him go, but you know they put a lead monitor on him. But when he got to uh, Houston, Dallas area, wherever he was at in Texas. They told him, hey, 
we don't even, uh, we don't, uh, whatever happened in that state, we don't carry that over here. So you don't have to uh, really wear it, but we're going to put it on you anyway. So Shondell Barnett had a lead model on him, but it really was just because, but that state really don't uh, abide by nothing that other state doing. You feel what I mean? They don't. They don't represent the same thing, like uh, Houston, uh, basically Texas, Alabama, Mississippi, Florida. All of them got the same laws. You know what I'm saying? So you know Indiana, they got some other laws with Michigan and stuff like that. So they laws and the time spread don't 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 mean it's not the same. So uh, when the, when they send the facts and paperwork over. Uh, the person that's over the case, they'll just make them do their own type of probation to just let them free from whatever they had going on in another state, just stay out of trouble. But you know what I'm saying, Shondell, he ain't do that. Uh, the feds, you know, they picked up the case and they went at them when they figured that he was out after 30 days. And he went on a limb. He started running. He on the run right now. Nobody don't know where his whereabouts at, but you know I heard that allegedly he got some good uh, marijuana traffickers and cocaine smugglers and stuff like that. So they probably done got him out of the country because he ain't nowhere in the states. If he's still in the states, the man got to be crazy because he from Texas. It ain't nothing but a few hours away he can get right to uh, Mexico and be straight because you know. Them smugglers and stuff, they can put you somewhere where you don't even got to come out. It's black people over there in Mexico. You know what I'm saying? So that's where everybody think he probably went. You know what I'm saying? But the feds go over there and get him about this young dog case. But really, they just want the man to be a government informant, if you ask me. Because I don't see what his... Uh, what they can really do with him, what they can really stick with him. You know what I'm saying? Murder at, after the fact. I mean, what you mean after the fact, like weeks after the fact that it happened, that he was an accessory? So that's not going to stick. So they're going to find something else to keep him in jail. They trying to tie Shondell Barnett to it because he probably heard uh, Justin Johnson confess when they was riding about what really happened. So they think Shondell Barnett uh, heard the real story of really what happened to Young Dolphin. He can really tell them really what happened because Cornelius Smith definitely not talking. You know what I'm saying? He the only one. He 32 years old. He's sitting in the box. You know what I'm saying? He throwing his trays back at the officers when they bring trays in. He throwing them back because they got him on the uh, patty. He on, the, he on that on that one type of meal when, you know, you be so bad where they just put all your food together. They put your drink, your dessert, your, uh, uh, dang, I can't think of what they call it. It's called a loaf. You know what I'm saying? When they put you on a loaf, he on a loaf diet. So basically what they do is they put, get all his food and blend it up. It could be cookies. It could be a sandwich. It can be... A hot dog. They're going to blend all that shit up what he's supposed to eat for lunch. And they're going to put it in a loaf. And go give it to him like slop. And he's throwing it back at the guards. Like, don't send me that shit. And he fighting and he bucking. And you know what I'm saying? He trying to go psych. But they ain't really doing that with him because he's still in the county. You know what I'm saying? You go in psych in county, it's too early. But that's what he end up doing. Because he think that one of them cats going to tell on him and he know all his mail is getting short stopped. It's getting intercepted. It's getting read. And you know what I'm saying? That's why he ain't really, you know what I'm saying, uh, saying too much. He hoping them boys ain't telling. You know what I'm saying?